we've spent quite a bit of time using trigonometry to find sides in our triangles, but we also want to be able to use trigonometry to find angles as well. And we're not going to be using any new rules. We're still going to be using Sokotoa just like we were before. The rules are here again for you at the top of the page. So sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan equals opposite over adjacent. To find an angle, we need to use a slightly different approach to our Sokotoa. Um, our calculators, we normally use our sine, cos, and tan buttons. To do angles, we're going to have to use inverse sine, which is a sine with a negative one, or inverse cos, which is cos with a little negative one, and inverse tan. So we just want to spend a couple of minutes practicing using those buttons on our calculator. So example number one, if I have sine theta equals 0 0.6, to get the theta by itself, we have to do inverse sine of that number, that decimal 0 0.6. On your calculator, that means that you have to press the shift button first and then the sign to bring up the sign with a little negative one on it. And then you type in the 0 0.6 equals. Okay, now it says to do to one decimal point, so that's going to be 36.9. Okay, let's try that again. Part B, it's cos theta. So to get the theta by itself, I'm going to have to do inverse cos of 0 0.35. So that means shift cos on the calculator of 0 0.35. So 69.5. Okay, for C, to get the theta by itself, we will have to do inverse tan of the 2.1. Sixty-four point five, and we have a few more of these. So the next one, cos theta. So theta is going to be inverse cos of zero point five. So that's exactly sixty degrees. We don't need to do any rounding there. E is tan theta. So theta is going to be equal to inverse tan of 0 0.46 so 24.7 and one last one it's sine theta so theta is going to be equal to inverse sine of 0 0.1 So it's 5.7. Okay, question two, convert from decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So remember that there are smaller measurements that we can measure angles in. Degrees is the one that we're familiar with, but there is also minutes and seconds. To do this on our calculator, we type in the 34.23, that's the degrees angle that we've been given, you press the equals button and to get your calculator to degrees, minutes and second, we push our bubble button, which is just below our square root button here, and that will change it. So the first number is 34 degrees, the second number is minutes, and the last number is seconds. 34 degrees, 13 minutes and 48 seconds. Okay, so the minutes has one dash and the seconds has two little dashes there. Let's do that again for part B. To type that in, we will need to use the mixed numeral. So shift fraction button, 21 and one third. Press the equals button and then the bubble button. So that's 21 degrees, 20 minutes. And there was no seconds. Part three is, question three is going in the opposite direction. I'm giving you something in degrees, minutes, and seconds, and you need to turn it back into a decimal. 
So we use our bubble button. We go 34, push the button, 22, push the button again, and then just press equals. Now to get it to give you a decimal, you'll press your SD button twice, and that's 34.4 if we do one decimal place. Okay, let's try that again for part B. So 50, push the bubble button, 25, push it again, and 10, push it again. Okay, press equals, and then the SD button twice. So that's 50.4 as a decimal in degrees, okay? So question four on the next page, a little bit more practice, finding theta correct to one decimal place. So the first one, we've done some of the working out for us. If we have sine theta equals 0 0.5, to get the theta by itself, it means we have to inverse sine the 0.5. And then the last step is to do that on our calculator. So inverse sine of the 0 0.5 is 30 degrees. Okay, we want to do the same working out for the other questions that are here. For part B, to get the theta by itself, it means I need to inverse cos the 0 0.2525. And then on the calculator. So to one decimal place, that's 75.4 degrees. For C, to get theta by itself, it means I need to inverse 10 of 1.555 in the calculator. Fifty seven point three degrees. And last one, to get theta, I need to inverse sine of 2 over 5. So you use a fraction button. So 23.6 degrees. Okay, question four is the same, except that we want to round to the nearest degree instead of one decimal place. So to get theta by itself, I need to inverse 10, 2.555. Oops, inverse 10, 2.555. So 68 is the whole numbers because these... 0.6 would round up. We're going to round that to 69 degrees. And the next one, we want to inverse cos the 0 0.2525, which is 75.3, but we don't want any decimal places, so that would round down this time to be 75 degrees. Okay, so that was a bit of practice just using our calculator to, to do various things and rounding. Now, the main thing we want to do are these ones here. In our triangles, we want to find theta to the nearest minute, it says in the question, showing our working out. So first of all, we need to work out whether we're going to use sine, cos, or tan. So knowing that my right angle is here, Straight across from that means that the 17 is going to be my hypotenuse. The 12 is between my right angle and my theta, so that's going to be the adjacent. This other side over here would be the opposite, but because there's no number there, I can't actually use that for this question. So I'm using adjacent and hypotenuse. So if you remember our so ka toa then adjacent and hypotenuse, the A and the H, is in front of the C there, which means that we want to use cos. So cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Sub into that formula, cos theta equals, the adjacent is 12, the hypotenuse is 17. To get the theta by itself, this is where we have to do the inverse cos of 12 over 17, and then the fourth line is using our calculator to get an answer. So to the nearest minute means I push my bubble button. 
that's 45 degrees, 5 minutes and 56.86 seconds. If it says the nearest minute, it means I only want the first two numbers, the degrees and the minutes. That means the seconds, which just like time works in lots of 60, if the seconds are above 30, then I need to round up. So my minutes, my seconds, sorry, are 56.86. So that will round up to give me six minutes. So 45 degrees, six minutes. Okay, let's try that again. Question B, I will label my triangle from my right angle, between my right angle and the theta, this side's going to be the adjacent. And across from my theta, this one's going to be the opposite. The third side over here would be the hypotenuse, but I don't have anything there. So I want to use the O and the A side, and looking at Sokotoa, that means tan. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Subbing in, tan theta equals O is 11 and adjacent is 10. To get the theta, I want to inverse tan the 11 over 10 and then put that in the calculator. Okay, so we're doing degrees and minutes, so we push our bubble button. 47 degrees, 43 minutes, so that's the ones I want. But because it's 34.72 seconds, it's going to round up again to be 47 degrees, 44 minutes. Okay, let's do it one more time here. Label the triangle. From the right angle, straight across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from the theta is the opposite. So I have opposite and hypotenuse, which is sine. Write the formula down. Subbing in, sine theta equals, the opposite is 15, the hypotenuse is 22. To get the theta by itself, I now inverse sine the 15 over 22. And in the calculator, that's 42 degrees, 59 minutes, and nine seconds is going to round down, so 42 degrees, 59. Oops. Okay, so that's our examples done. Here is your practice on the next page. In each of these questions, they've got a question mark in where the angle is, so that is going to be your theta. Um, and the good news is that these questions only ask you to round to the nearest degree. So there's no need to worry about the degrees and minutes and seconds. You just round to the nearest whole number. So if I quickly show you the first one, the 36 is the opposite and the 41 is the hypotenuse. So it's sine and we sub in opposite is 36, hypotenuse is 41 and you'll inverse sine the 36 over 41 to get the angle. Oops, that's not inverse sine, try that again. So I don't need to worry about the bubble button, it's 61 degrees because it's a 0.4 that will round down, so just 61 degrees is all we need and that's the answer. Okay, so you've got a few pages of those to do.